I have been creating content for about eight years right now. And throughout the years, I have found a couple of applications and tools that allow me to speed up the entire workflow. And I generally believe that being a creator does not necessarily require you to have the newest and greatest gear as well as all of the types of the subscriptions. This is why today I want to speak to you about my six favorite free applications that will speed up your workflow, whether you are a freelancer or a content creator. What up everyone, Lexi here and welcome back to the channel on which we are learning how to create your own dream life through freelancing and content creation. And today we're going to be talking about my favorite free applications that are speeding up the workflow. And all of those applications obviously have their paid versions, but I will describe to you what those paid versions do as well. And is it actually worth it? Now, all of the applications that I'm mentioning are down below in the description box. Some of them are affiliate links. So if you will sign up with using my affiliate link, I will get a little bit of a commission. So thank you very much for doing that. Now let's go. The best place to start is obviously from the beginning. So I decided to kind of separate this video to like little chapters that have categories to make our lives all easier. If you are planning scheduling or scripting any type of content or work that you are having on your hands, Notion is going to be absolutely your friend. Notion is one of the best applications that work across all of your devices, meaning that you can write one thing on your laptop and then just check it out on your phone or the other way around. It works within all types of devices and it allows you to be as flexible as possible when it goes to your planning. I'm personally using Notion for scheduling, planning, scripting, uh, doing my daily tasks, to-do lists and things like this and also I still have scripts in them so it's basically a notion there. And if you are interested in my notion workflow of how I do all of those things here is a video for you just right there in the cards and down below in the description box. We made a whole video about it so I'm just gonna skip on all the explanation here. But as of recently notion came up with a new product called notion AI and I kid you not this thing helped my scripting to become so much easier. Now, Notion AI is free for you to use for just a trial period. And after this, it is actually a paid feature, which costs around $10 per month. But this feature can help you out with titles, CEO, hashtags, thumbnail ideas, and all the other things that actually usually cost much more with any type of a subscription. Notion AI can help you out also with correcting the text or making it longer. And it has the most ultimate favorite feature, which I love, which is called brainstorming. And again, I have made a full video about the Notion AI, so if you are interested, it's just right here. I'm actually impressed and I'm easing more into working with it. So except the brainstorming, which I loved straight away, I'm kind of getting eased into it. And yes, I made already two videos about Notion AI because apparently I like it that much. And of course you can find the link to Notion AI down below in the description box, as well as my template for Notion for content creators, if you are interested and wanna copy mine. If you are a content creator, a CEO master, or a social media marketing manager, FitIQ is absolutely going to be your best friend with its CEO capabilities powered by AI and pure data. Thanks to FitIQ, you can check on the popularity of a certain topic, the best tags for them, as well as the tags and tricks used by other creators. VidIQ works as a browser extension and gives gives you a lot of information in the free version of it. And the free version of vidIQ is also giving you a couple of credits to use for the AI powered titles. And the free version of vidIQ can get you really far with your YouTube, especially if you are just starting. The paid version of vidIQ includes daily video ideas, more information about the videos on your channel, as well as other people's channels. I've been using vidIQ for a couple of years now, and I think it helped me a lot in my content creation journey. And I'm not entirely sure if I would survive without it. Hi! You know what also helps in the content creation journey? Uh, leaving a like and commenting on any of the videos. Just an add-in. So be sure to do that. Some of that, that, that. Now that we have all things planned and prepared, let's get into some creation tools, shall we? If you don't want to pay for a Photoshop subscription, I got you covered with Canva. Canva allows you to design media kits, thumbnails, CVs, any type of documents, workbooks, everything that you can imagine that is connected with graphics. With their dead simple controls, templates and more, you can generate amazing content and documents in no time. Another perk of Canva is the fact that you can create your own templates. That means that a lot of people are selling their own templates, which allows you to do things in even less time or that you can create your own stuff and sell it as your passive income. I mean, making some extra back on the side is always a good thing, right? 
And Canva allows you to also create some type of Instagram stories, reels and things like this. And this list wouldn't be full without my ultimate favorite application called Lightroom Mobile. Oh, Lightroom in general, but Lightroom Mobile is free. I've made a separate video about Lightroom mobile possibilities as well as the Lightroom preset, so if you want to check it out, it's just right here and down below in the description box. Generally, Lightroom is allowing you to extensively edit your pictures within your phone, meaning that this is all you need to edit most of your pictures. Now, Lightroom mobile in the free version has one little thing. Once you add a Lightroom preset to it, you cannot really change any settings of the set preset. Now, this is kind of... Mm, nah, really but it still allows you to do the one click edits on most of your pictures and if you have presets that actually work for you pretty well mostly or usually you, most of the time then it shouldn't really be a problem now if you want to check out any of the possibilities of the presets and stuff like this i'm leaving you a link down below to my demo which is having two presets for you to check and also on the store there's a lot of more presets from me so as you can see it's also another thing that you can sell for your own passive income. And I have been using Lightroom Mobile for like four years or more, and I do not think there is an app on this planet that could make me switch from it. Correcting or copywriting your work. Whether you are a content creator or a freelancer specializing in content writing or any type of copywriting, Grammarly is absolutely your app. The free version allows you to catch the typos, grammar issues, and simple text issues, while the paid version works on the semantics, tone of voice, and so much more than that. I usually correct my blog posts, scripts, and general writing through Grammarly, and it has been a huge helper when it goes to catching my typos and text issues. And if you follow me on Instagram or ever talked to me on Instagram, you probably know I do those a lot. But another cool thing about Grammarly is the fact that it works also as a browser extension, so whenever you are writing in an email it already corrects everything that you have done wrong in there and this is life-changing and probably saved me a lot of times scheduling instagram and tiktok in particular i don't know about you but i'm one of those people that have actually lost the advanced feature on my instagram that was allowing me to schedule posts and i'm not entirely sure why it happened but apparently a lot of people don't know what happened and to be honest, I'm not the best when it goes to posting at a certain time because I usually forget what I wanted to do and then I need to like stop whatever I'm doing and just, you know, type all the things that I wanted to and I need to remember it. And this is, this is not happening. So generally, I'm a human, I forget things, okay? And here's where two of my favorite applications come into play. And now if you are wondering why, why two? Uh, I have two Instagrams and generally, free versions just allow me to have like one account so i have two accounts on two apps because i'm lazy with the free version of planly you can schedule posts and stories now with the paid version you can also schedule reels put bigger files in it and you know just just get more information when it goes to analytics Another great application for scheduling stuff on Instagram and TikTok is called Later. And again, with the free version, you can schedule some posts and stories. And with the paid version, you can schedule also reels and add bigger type of files. Now, when it goes to the features, I think Later is doing a little bit better job when it goes to showing you what is the best time for you to post and what should you do with your content. It gives you some type of ideas as well, and it gives you really excessive analytics of your profile. And this is it. I hope this list of six favorite applications that will speed up your workflow has helped you a lot. And if it did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help me make algorithm extremely happy. And let me know in the comments if you know any type of applications that are free or paid versions that are absolutely changing your life or that you want to try out. Because maybe there is something that I don't know about that I would absolutely love. So leave me a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to learn more about how to create the life of your dreams for the things that you love the most. And in the meantime, while you are waiting for the new video, which we are posting every single Tuesday, check out that video right here. It's about how to get out of a creative route and create must-watch video ideas. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome.